This chemistry rule from 1924 was just proven wrong. Brett's rule says that in molecules like this one, where you have a bridge from one part of the molecule to the other, and where the ring down here is small, you cannot put a double bond on this carbon or this carbon. Chemists have always been taught that double bonds are flat because the p orbitals that stick out of the carbons can overlap best that way. And there is no way for this molecule to exist with a flat double bond here or here or here. It just it just can't. But then, on November 1st, chemists from UCLA announced that they had found a way to systematically violate Brett's rule. They started with this, which they reacted with a fluoride source, which convinces these two groups here to leave, very briefly forming the star of the show. Woo! But this is so unstable that you have to trap it with a molecule like anthracene, which forms this, which you can finally isolate. This method can make this, and this, and this, and all of these guys, and potentially lots of other very useful molecules. This is a reminder that rules in science can be broken, you just have to do the right experiment.